This is what I recommend before poison ivy removal is a pre-contact solution that makes like a gel barrier. And I just put it on any exposed area of my skin. Of course, the Thai Chem Suit, fanciest rubber boots you can find. You can tape it. Whenever you're putting this stuff on, if you've been doing poison ivy removal and any of these things, you want to keep alcohol on hand. And a really good cotton cloth with lots of friction. Because you have to keep your body clean. And the key in removing this and not getting it is keeping your body really clean. and barrier protected. Pin down the edges of my suit so it doesn't scratch my face. Make sure you pull your gloves up so they're gonna be under your suit. If you can find higher surgical gloves, they're even better. I use actually nitrile. I don't use latex. I just like nitrile better. I've never really used latex, except for very quick times, but I find that these are nitrile gloves. These are nine millimeter Hardy from Harbor Freight. Even as you work with your gloves, just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol if you touch something and you're not sure. Take it off. Duct tape the seams together. And to save yourself from sanity, put a little tab here so you can pull it off at the end. The other nice thing is when you wrap this, it gives you a lot of strength on your wrist. Kind of reinforcing your grip strength. And I do recommend duct tape, not duct tape imitation, because of the way that it tears. Okay. My boots. I'm going to be stepping into some ground ivy today. Don't over stick it to my boots. Maybe sort of just tape like a little pony, just kind of keep it down unless I know it's going to be really bad. It just makes it easier to pull it off. This is a garden sprayer, just a cheap one from Big Lots. And this is what I put ice purple alcohol in it. The reason I know it's ice purple alcohol is because it's green. And I have a blue one with just water in case for any reason anything gets on my eyes. This is one of my main tools right here. This is just a really simple shovel, but it's got a really sharp edge and serrated pieces to it. Another main tool I use is this. And these things are amazing. This is what actually digs underneath the root system. And so this is looks like a fairly simple project, but the poison ivy is pretty dug into here. Let me show you.
Okay, we're gonna start from the outer edge and go in towards the inside. So this is all wrapped up. I'm just looking here on the outer edge. And each one of these is gonna get surgically removed. Actually have to unweave it. You have to be careful because as this flips up, it can get you. Over by the grows back and everything. So that removal took me about two hours. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I'm just gonna share with you, it's totally trampled right now because I've been in it. I try and work from the outside coming into the main areas uh, because once it gets trampled, it sort of gets hidden. Uh, what'll happen, we get a good rain, Pakistandra will kind of pop back, back up um, and it'll look like new. The other thing that I did is I also dug out around the uh, actual tree where the root system was growing up just to make sure that uh, we keep an eye on and see if there was any other root pieces. There it is, all the poison ivy's removed. Just to have an idea of how much we removed today. There it is. So this isn't a full bag of poison ivy. It's got a little bit of peck sander in it, maybe 5%. But overall, this is how much poison ivy was really pulled out of that garden. So this is poison ivy vine that came out of a pachysandra bed. And pachysandra is either really kind of a bright green or almost like a white, depending if it's younger shoots. Uh, but this is the poison ivy. This is more of a brown, if not a reddish tone. And really young pieces have uh, the red root. Right here is a runner. Okay, and that's just got a little runner root to it. Um, and that's kind of what attaches it to the ground. My two cans. All right, even though this I touched, I don't really clean it. Uh, I have a box to kind of put everything into. <clears throat> no, I'm actually not going to pull back my sleeves yet. It's all right. Invert. Invert. Okay, I used that rag before. Clean rag. Oop. Right on my phone. Now the reason I use cotton, it's got awesome friction. See, I'm touching actual equipment that's dirty. So, that means I clean my hands. They may have poison ivy on them. Okay, now I'm gonna actually bag up and cinch tie that bag. Okay, so that bag I think is pretty safe, but touch me on the leg. So, I'm just kind of.